Hi, Pickles. There I was in the middle of a gulp of my Bulletproof coffee. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. Welcome to my channel, where sometimes it's gentle, other times it's tamping, and other times it's a smack down. This is a precursor to a smackdown. Oh, these are sometimes fun. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody is doing what they want to do with their food plan. Be it keto under 20, be it low carb, high fat, be it whatever it is that makes it work for you. If you're happy and feeling at optimum health and your lab work comes back saying yes, then keep doing what you're doing. If you're not getting the results that you want and you're not feeling at your best, you don't have these incredible spurts of energy, the scale's not moving, you're not sleeping like a lamb, you're constipated, your face is broken out, and maybe you're bitchy witchy, maybe this is the time to just try something. Just try it. Just try something different for a week and see if whatever it is improves. For me, I've done the non-scale victory um, talks, but having this for a mood and an energy level all day long is so great. Yes, I slow down in the afternoon, but I get up between two and three. So if you're getting up around seven or eight, add five hours onto that. So, you know, um, of being awake. So my two to three in the afternoon would be your seven or eight at night, which, you know, I think it's an appropriate time to kind of be tired and just kind of regroup and I plan my day around it and I don't punish anybody for having a different schedule than they do. I just fit it all in in the morning and I love it. All right, but enough about that. This little phrase came to me yesterday <clears throat> and I immediately had to write it down because you know how that goes. I mean, I might have more focus and sharpness from being on a keto under 20, but I still am 66 and sometimes it you know, gets foggy. So I wrote it right down. Common keto sense. Would you say, if you're on a keto food plan, if you're on a keto food plan under 20, are you instilling common keto sense into it? Now, I doubt that you could be under 20 if you weren't using common keto sense. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that you're treating your keto food plan as a seven-day-a-week food plan. There's no days off. There's no compensation. You don't get to have that great big treat. Um, I gave up my baked potatoes with my steak night. Yeah, I did that a few weeks ago. And um, no regrets. And I don't miss it. How about that? Um, I, I have three veggies with the steak that night. I have um, asparagus cauliflower and Brussels sprouts all done in the big green egg along with the steak. So that's my treat and it's totally satiating. So keto common sense is when you actually take command of your food plan and don't sit there looking at the food porn of the keto desserts and grain-like items. <clears throat> you understand perhaps, or let me just speak from me, I was a food addict. I was a sugar addict. I was a carb addict. I am still all of those things, but doing keto under 20 day after day after day, these things become managed. They could come back with one bite of something that I'm not supposed to be having. Why? Because I am an addict and my brain would get lit up and maybe nothing would happen, but the head would start. And if any of you are card-carrying, carb, and sugar addicts, you know what I mean about the head starting. It just slowly, slowly starts telling you, hmm, maybe, maybe you can squeeze this in. Maybe under 20, under 50, under 75 carbs a day, what's the diff? Maybe I can have these sort of things every now and then. I'm sick and tired of getting the pressure from my coworkers, from my significant other, from going to all these events and having to look at all this food porn and not being able to have it. And I hope you're not a nibbler off of somebody else's plate. I hope you're not asking for a bite of somebody's non-keto dessert. 
and then rushing home and recreating it in a ketofied way and thinking that you can have it. That is not common keto sense. Most of you know this, but some of you are still skirting around. I recently did a podcast about being a weight loss tourist, and I'm loving the responses that I'm getting. And um, it is amazing how we can slowly drift away from something that initially worked for us. Getting a little messy, a little sloppy, a little, hmm, whatever, and um, thinking that we can kind of manage our own food plan, and it doesn't have a name anymore. It's not Weight Watchers. It's not Simply Filling. It's not Low Carb, High Fat. It's not Keto. It's not Keto Under 20. It's our own creation, and we actually think that we're we're doing it and we're managing our lives just fine, thank you very much. And the scale gets dusty because there's something, something deep inside of us that knows this is probably going to cost because it is such a slippery slope to deviate. If I stopped using a tracker, that would be my difficulty because it would slowly, slowly, slowly start to let things slip in if I stopped measuring those eight Brussels sprouts or those four asparagus or the um, amount of protein, animal protein I was having, I would see I'm slowly getting into that place. So common keto sense, it's just like common sense in the real world. Have you ever been around or in line or overheard a person and they, it's just like, if common sense, why do we call it common sense when it's not common anymore? Yeah, some people's own way of thinking. And um, it's funny because in, in my, um, I have a friend and in her personal life, she um, has somebody with one philosophy in her life and then um, another philosophy. And the two are, you know, gladiators. And it's like, well, what is your heart? saying and it's like it's hard to tell and so um, sometimes that's what we are faced with as grown-ups if you're not acting like a grown-up eating like a grown-up tracking like a grown-up then you don't have to pay attention to that and you can live the same way that you lived when you put on the 40 pounds that got you to this website right so taking responsibility sometimes keto common sense is a gift and it's given to you, don't mess it up. Like the parents that give their kids a car once they get their license. Versus the parents that make their kid earn their way into getting a car after they get their license. And there is a difference. And on paper, or like if you're in the neighborhood and you see the kid driving by, you don't know if he earned his way into that car <clears throat> or was just given that car. Well, for us with Keto Common Sense, do, were you given it as a gift and you do have common sense and you realize this is this is buckle down time because you're not going to be a weight loss tourist with all the other plans that you used before if this doesn't work. It's like grow up, pull up your panties or your boxers and start tracking, drinking enough water, giving up the diet soda, giving up the artificial sweeteners, giving up the idea of ketofying pastas, grains and sugary desserts because this is the real deal. If you do under 20, you will lose your sugar craving. You will, might lose your grain craving too. And so you can get through because you're not, you're not salivating over those items anymore. And it's a concept that if you don't have common keto sense, you're not going to get to. Because if you do the keto diet and the whole time you're just jonesing, for sugary, carby, artificial thingies, diet sodas, all the like, you're not going to see, you're not going to feel the keto common sense that may be a gift that you're like, oh yeah, go over there. So, take stock. Keto common sense is such a gift. It's a gift, just like everything else, just like having having the internet, having YouTube, having Facebook keto pages, having a keto-friendly world to shop in, having all these podcasts from peers, which is very important, 
and specialists, doctors that promote keto, um, and um, books, and all those sort of things. We are so lucky in this modern age to have all these aids to keep us keto under 20 with common sense. Common sense is such a gift. And in today's world, I don't know, you can't fix stupid, and I don't want to. I want to be, I want to be keto under 20 with the common sense that I can have about it and know that, like, what was my purpose of coming to keto? Oh, yeah, I'm a sugar addict. I'm a grain addict. So I'm not going to try to emulate all those things doing my keto food plan. It, I mean, to me, it's just, it's just how I operate. Down to the gum, you know, I mean, really, tightening it up is amazing. Now I just have velament gum under one carb as opposed to all the one and two carb gums that I do in a gum part one and gum part two uh, podcast. It has not aired yet, if this airs before it. So look for that. I mean, that's how fine-tuning you can be, you know. And then when it comes to heavy whipping cream, only buying heavy whipping cream that has no carrageenan in it or genin in it. Um, I've seen it in stores. You can buy it. Whole Foods has it. Um, Horizons has it. Organic Valley has it. Um, so it's out there. And if you don't see it, write to your local dairy companies that use it and say, hey, I'm not buying your product until you knock it off. Clearly, Calafia almond, um, almond beverages did that enough, and they knocked off the carrageenan in their almond milks and such. Yeah, they did. And so they don't have any money going into their bottom line. They're going to start taking stock. And we as um, keto people have a lot of power in that marketplace. And we can, we can use it. We can wield it. So... Common sense, common keto sense, is a gift and treasure it because you've been, you've been chosen and you can have a way of eating and a way of life that you never imagined. But you have to have common sense about it. This is not the food plan, you know, no offense Weight Watchers people, but this is not a food plan where you can like make fake stuff with almond flour, coconut flour, and artificial sweeteners and um, enjoy what you used to have ketofied. A lot of people do it, but to me, it keeps it would keep my addict just so inflamed. The power light under my the pilot light under my addiction in my brain mm -hmm. would be turned up, and I don't want to turn it up. I want to feel the way that I'm feeling and start craving my fatty meats, my heavy whipping cream, my my wonderful coconut oil or cashew butter or organic cream cheese, stuffed celery. I want to look forward to those sort of things. No sugar pulls at all. Hey, it's time for me to go. I've done enough blah blah for the day. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.